Good morning, YouTube. Well, I was seeing my mom off. She uh, got to go to an hour and a half away and uh, making sure the car has oil and stuff. Good thing I checked it too because it was low. But uh, she did. <laughs> and now I know where I get it from. Just go, go, go. All right. So we're in uh, Matthew chapter 10 this morning. And uh, let's eat. <clears throat> and when he had called, now you remember the, he was talking about the Lord of the Harvest in, in uh, 938, right? Okay. I come straight from Jesus' mouth. Another name, Lord of the Harvest. I like that. Anyway, chapter 10. And when he had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out. <clears throat> and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. Now the names of the twelve apostles are, are these. First Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother. James, the son of Zebedee, and John his brother. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and I never can pronounce this one, Libaeus, son of Alphaeus and Libaeus, whose surname was Thaddeus, Thaddeus. Simon, the Canaanite, or Canaan, Canaanite, and Judas, Iscariot, who also betrayed Jesus. These twelve, <clears throat> excuse me, these twelve Jesus sent out and commanded them, saying, "Do not go out, go into the way of the Gentiles, and do not enter a city of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand." <coughs> Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Provide neither gold. <coughs> Cold air got me. Provide neither gold nor silver nor copper in your money belts, nor bag for your journey, nor two tunics, nor sandals, nor staffs, for a worker is worthy of his food. <laughs> Now, whatever city or town you enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and stay there till you go out. And when you go into a household, greet it. If the household is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, worthy, let your peace return to you. Hmm. Something to ponder there. <coughs> and wherever... And whoever will not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart from that house or city, shake off the dust from your feet. Move on. You know, you can only... I've witnessed a certain single person before for a little over three and a half years, and I'm still praying for that person, but he's not allowed over here anymore. Assuredly, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. <laughs> if they don't receive Christ, if they don't receive the gospel, if they reject it, if they reject the Lord. Assuredly, I say to you, verse 15, it would be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Hmm. <laughs> Something to think about. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be brought before governors and kings for my sake 
has a testimony to them and to the Gentiles. But when, but when they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak, for it will be given you in that hour what you should speak. <laughs> for it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father who speaks in you. Hmm. Amen. Now, brother, now brother will deliver up brother to death, and a father his child. And children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But he who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in this city, flee to another. For assuredly I say to you, you will not have gone through the cities of Israel before the Son of Man comes. Hmm. Excuse me a second. That was A disciple, <clears throat> a disciple is not above his teacher nor a servant above his master. It is enough for a disciple that he be like his teacher and a servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more will they call those of his household? Therefore do not fear them, for there is nothing covered that will not be revealed and hidden that will, be, will not be known. Whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the light. And what, I, and what you hear in the ear, preach on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. But rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin? And not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Hmm. Do not fear, therefore. You are of more value than many sparrows. <coughs> Excuse me. Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. Hmm. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I come that I came to bring peace on earth. Do not think that I came to be, bring peace on the earth. <laughs> I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. <laughs> Dividing sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's enemies will be those of his own household. <sighs> That's how serious it is. That's how serious the, the dividing sword of God's word. This is our sword. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son and daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Serious business, man. And he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. And be very, very careful that you don't cause others to sin. It's going to say it in here. A lot of times I can't just take you to the where the verse is and where the, where what chapter it's in and everything, but I have it in me. I have it in me. I have the Word of God in me. And I'm going to tell you, you do not want to cause other people to sin. And drinking does that. Getting drunk and doing drugs will cause other people to sin. It will make it will help them to break weak in areas. It may not everybody, but it will some. And those some matter. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. He who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's re reward. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones only a cup of cold water in the name of a disciple, assuredly I say to you, he shall by no means lose his reward. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. 
Oh, man. I have gone back and forth with people about being clean and sober. And they go, well, Jesus drank wine. Yeah, but I don't think he ever got drunk. Okay. <laughs> and, I, and, and I think he was there to, to win the more. Okay. And uh, drinking and getting drunk and drugging and doing drugs is of this world. And the Bible tells us to come up out of it. Jesus sat with people drinking and drunk. I mean, the moment that you become drunk from wine, whiskey, beer, you're in a state of sin. You drink one beer, you ain't going to get, you know, <laughs> drunk. But to sit there in front of people on video on a thirsty Thursday, I don't care how much good you think you're doing for children, for anybody, because we have nothing good in us except for him that is in us. And I have people come on here and tell me, well, Jesus sat with and drank with, with, with uh, those that were dr drunk and drinking. Yeah, I believe that. I don't believe he sat there and got drunk with them and got all loose and started talking to them and, and, and just being all, <laughs> sorry, I don't believe that. I'm not going to promote it. I'm not going to promote alcohol, and I'm not going to promote drugs. They're the same to me. Alcohol and drugs is the same to me. They, ca they, they cause people to do things and say things that they normally wouldn't say and do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if you're going to promote that, well, then it's, it's going to help. Somewhere down the road, somebody's going to get the wrong idea. And they're going to get drunk and, and they're just going to stay drunk because they think it's okay because they look at look look at you as a somebody they want to be like. I don't care if you do it once a month, once a year, twice a year. I'm just saying, I'm not judging you. That's his job to do the separating from the wheats and the <laughs> tears you know I'm just saying for me I'm not going to promote alcohol and drugs on my channel and if anybody wants to say anything about it well you can comment in the comments I'm going to tell you the Bible says over and over and over again not to be a drunkard it's a sin we're not supposed to do it we're called to a higher standing and when I see people on here that have a hundred and 60,000 followers and they're getting drunk that once a week <laughs> they're setting the wrong example and with that I'll let you guys go God over everything Jesus is my king Jesus is the king bye